Okay, so I have here these um, 10 amp brushed ESCs. They're pretty much universal. You can get them almost everywhere. Just thought I'd do a little, not even review, just talk about them a bit before I put them in my Rockstar. Uh, I got mine without a break because I don't need that for a rock crawler. It's geared low enough that it'll hold itself. Uh, basically, you can take up to a 2S LiPo, which is good. It comes with a little back, so I'll use one of the outputs to power my receiver. It says it can do up to 30 amps for less than 5 seconds, which would be a little ambitious, maybe, but we'll see. And they're pretty small. They're, uh, how big? This is just a little tiny socket. Basically as big as my thumb, upper portion knuckle, which is good because I'm going to put them in my Basher Rockstar and they basically are the perfect length. Should be able to fit two in side by side, just barely. Come with all this wiring which I'll probably take off. I'm assuming this switch is for an on-off. Not sure if it has to be open or closed. If it has to be closed, I'll just toss a solder blob on there. It comes with a capacitor just to filter the power supply. I'll, I'm gonna take that off and it should still work. Uh, and then there's two leads. The outer lead, I guess, is for the battery input is the female one and then the inner two are for the motor output so I'll probably just disconnect everything and direct solder it all up in order to make it to fit but yeah just thought I'd do a little rundown and I'll unsolder all this junk and put them in my basher rockstar Okay, so I disconnected that switch and I just jumpered the two pads where it was soldered on so it closes the connection. Uh, and then I just soldered on a motor as a quick test. Wired up a battery and a receiver. Yep. Forward and backward. So yeah, you can just take that switch off and toss a blob of solder on there and it should work just fine. And I'll take that capacitor off to later. All right, so I soldered everything together. It's a big mess of wires, but the speed controllers will fit side by side. And then the servos got soldered to a back and my four channels got soldered to this baby fly sky receiver and it's all a big mess so I think I'm going to cover it in liquid electrical tape just to cover all the connections so nothing shorts together and I imagine that'll be a big sloppy mess as well okay so I have everything all set up um, coated in liquid electrical tape so it won't short together. I had to reverse the direction on one of the motors to make both of the forwards forward, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to be doing some tests, trying to make the wheels start and spin at the same time. I'm not sure if it'll be possible, but we'll see. Okay, so here they're in the same starting position and I'm just going to uh, go full throttle and hopefully they max out at the same speed. Looks like the front one might be a little faster, but we'll see. 
The rear one starts first, going forward. And looks like the front one starts first, going backward. Interesting. Almost looks like backward is faster, so I'm going to try reversing the two channels. We'll see what that does. Okay, so that's not right. This is back to normal. Okay, whatever. I'm going to try and see if I can trim the third channel or the second channel, which is the front wheels, up a bit. So maybe they'll start at the same time. I think that made it worse. Oh, negative 10. Yeah, they almost started the exact same time now. Negative 9. That's pretty close. I think these speed controllers are just not... Maybe not. There. See, their back started first that time. The front started first. It's pretty close. I'll just leave it at negative 8. Maybe I'll toss in some Expo or something. Okay, so they're approximately the same starting position. I'll go full throttle and maybe the speed will be more similar now that I trimmed it too. Who knows? This is about mid throttle. It's pretty close. Probably just leave it going in reverse front starts and then the back starts So that's negative 10. I had a negative 8 before, so I'm just going to leave it at negative 9 and call it good enough. They pretty much start at the same speed at the same time, anyways. And as far as speed's concerned. Looks pretty much the same, I think. That was forward. This is full throttle reverse. Once again, the front looks maybe a little faster, but that might just have to be the way it is. I think I'll leave it there. 
Maybe I'll do some research and see, but I think the speed controllers have the same forward speed as backward speed. So it looks like we're all set up. I might, I'm going to do something with these electronics. Obviously, they're just floating around. I might silicone them all in there. Just fully commit. If anything ever breaks, I'll have to just carve it out or get a new one. But I don't know. It's nice having the dual ESCs, but it does get pretty crowded. I'll probably get find some way to stick them down and cover them in tape or something. I mean, it will look a little bit better once I get the lid on, but I don't know. At least I got them, or at least I got the speed controllers pretty much communicating at the same time, I think. I still have to set the endpoints on my steering, but that will be doable.